Looking for some amazing new effects for your artwork? With CorelDRAW 2020 comes a new set of art style effects, brought to you by Artificial Intelligence. These non-destructive AI effects use neural style transfer algorithms to produce a stylized version of an image or object. Each effect is based on the analyzed aesthetic of an artist or genre, and you can control the intensity and level of detail in order to produce stunning results. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial and find other tutorials on Corel Draw effects. For my first example, I've imported this photo. With the image selected, I can find the art effects in Effects, Creative, Art Style. I'll move the Art Style window off to the side and keep Preview checked so that I can see what the effects will do. For example, here's the pastel mosaic style. This is bold edges and sunset and saturated acrylic. I'll switch to wood blocks with the default settings of medium intensity and medium detail. Increasing the intensity really exaggerates the effect and increasing the detail increases the frequency of brush strokes. Lowering the intensity brings back more of the original photo, and lowering the detail results in wider spaces between brush strokes. I'll click OK. Like other effects in the Effects menu, art effects are non-destructive, which means the original photo remains intact. In the Objects Inspector, there is an FX icon next to the image, which I can click to toggle off or back on. When I return to the Art Styles menu and choose a different effect, such as Post Impressionist, I'm replacing the woodblocks style, not adding a new effect on top of the previous one. I can also see the effect in the Properties Inspector when I click the FX tab. Here it's the eye icon that toggles the effect, and if I double click the effect or click the Edit icon, I can adjust settings or change the style once again. Art style effects can be applied to vector objects as well. In this artwork by Raul Cabral Mera, there is one group for the bird and wavy curve across the sky, and another group for the sky, water, and buildings. I'm selecting everything and opening the Properties Inspector to the FX tab. When I click the plus sign here, I have the same menu of effects that I saw in the Effects menu. I'll choose Creative, Art Style, and try the Psychedelic Lava Lamp effect with medium intensity and detail. Note that this effect is most pronounced around the curves where objects overlap with other objects, like around the bird and buildings. The effects stay within their groups, however. There are no wavy effects along where the two groups overlap. Now say I want to apply this effect to everything but the bird. I'll undo the effect, then ungroup the bird group. I'll move the sky curve into the background group so that its edges will be part of the background. With everything but the bird selected, I'll apply the same effect. The entire background gets the effect uniformly, and the bird stands out above it all. I'll undo once again so that I can apply effects only to the bird this time. Although I can't apply multiple art effects to the same object, I can combine art effects with other types of effects. With just the bird selected, I'll switch to the Properties Inspector and add a texture, elephant skin effect. On top of this, I can also add an art style, and I'll try pastel mosaic. I can toggle off the texture effect to see how different the art effects looks without it. Turning the texture back on, I can also reorder to see what happens if the art style had been applied first. I like the original order better. Finally, I can apply these styles to other objects. With both effects selected, I'll drag them onto the largest buildings. This brings us to the end of this tutorial on effects in Corel Draw. If you've been watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial and learn more about non-destructive effects, including how to save a set of effects as a style that can be used in other Corel Draw documents.